dear students welcome to my channel pm biology today's topic of discussion is linkage types and its significance so what is mean by linkage first linkage are uh, linkage is nothing but the genes which are linked together some genes are very closely linked they are very closely found on the chromosome and they do not separate even though they undergo crossing over they the genes do not separate okay so this linkage is nothing but the tendency of genes to remain together in their original combination during inheritance is called linkage okay so see the little meaning of this line tendency of genes to remain together the it is a kind of tendency they remain together they do not separate they Uh, in their original combination during inheritance so in the offsprings also we get the same type of combination same type of genes which are uh, closely associated or closely linked they are called linkage okay and this phenomenon of linkage was first reported by betson and punet in 1906 this was firstly identified and reported by betson and punet in 1906 now this uh, is a combination a recombination frequently of 50% means that genes are unlinked the genes which are unlinked they undergo the recombination that is crossing over and they show almost 50 more than 50% of the recombination in the offsprings and there are two ways in which genes may be unlinked they may be on separate chromosomes they may be uh, present very far from the from uh, each other on the same chromosome so this diagram is showing that if whether the genes are linked or not so this is the first chromosome on which gene one is there and another gene is also present so if they are present very close to each other so here we can say the gene one and gene two they are linked these are linked type of genes so linkage is present uh, or uh, we can say it is a complete type of linkage right because they are present very close to each other that two on the same chromosome okay next next condition is that now here the two chromosomes are shown right and the genes which are found on the one chromosome and another chromosome they are shown here or highlighted so this is not a linked gene these are not linked type of genes because they are present on the different chromosomes okay this is another condition next condition is that the chromosome is only one chromosome is there and on the same chromosome there are two genes gene 1 and gene 2 so here also we cannot say that they are completely linked right so this is a type where there is complete linkage is found so we can uh, mention these genes as a linked type of genes now let's have a look at the types of linkage the first type is complete linkage it is the state in which two loci are so close together that alleles of these loci are virtually never separated by crossing over it is the state complete linkage is nothing but the state in which two loci are so closely close together they are very close together or they are present located very close very near that alleles of these loci are virtually never separated even by crossing over even though they undergo crossing over the chromosomes undergo crossing over but the genes do not separate the alleles uh, of that gene do not separate if the linkage is complete there should be parental combinations only and no recombinations okay so when such genes are not separated so if uh, suppose uh, a and b are the genes and they are very close together they are they are linked type of genes and from the parents they are inherited to the offspring so the gene combination will be uh, will remain same in the offsprings also they won't separate and therefore this is a kind of complete linkage they are co linked completely and therefore they do not show any kind of recombination in the 
next generation that is in their offsprings also so this is one type and in the another type of linkage which is called incomplete linkage now what is happening in the incomplete linkage see the genes present in the same chromosome the genes which are present in the same chromosome have a tendency to separate due to crossing over and hence produce recombinant progeny besides the parental type so genes present in the same chromosome have a tendency to separate due to crossing over and hence they are producing recombination progeny besides the parental type so whatever the genes are present those genes if they are present on the same chromosome but they are uh, they separate due during the process of crossing over and they produce some different types of combinations in their next generation or in their next progeny and they obviously uh, as they um, they are separating they are separating during the crossing over so definitely there will be some other combination so it is called recombination and this is completely different from the parental type the number of recombinant individuals is usually less than the number of expected in independent assortment so little bit less type of uh, less number of recombinant uh, recombinant genes or recombination is found or uh, is uh, produced in the next generation uh but less than the number which is expected in independent assortment that is that we have seen in the mendel's law independent assortment okay so this kind of uh, linkage is called incomplete linkage incomplete linkage means they will form recombinations they are not linked completely linked whereas in the first case this is a complete linkage means as it is they are inherited as it is means they remain together and inherited in the uh, progeny or the next generation or of their offspring so here there will be no recombination and in case of incomplete linkage there will be a recombination in their progeny okay this is uh, the two types of linkages and next is the significance of linkage so what is the significance of linkage linkage does not permit the breeders to bring the desirable characters in one variety so if somebody wants to get a breed in of any animal uh, and he want to get some particular characters in the uh, in the offsprings or the progeny so it is difficult for them because the genes they remain together they are not separating and therefore recombinations is not possible here because they are completely linked and therefore desirable characters are not uh, found in the uh, progeny so you know, for this reason plant and animal breeders find it difficult to combine various characters so because of this linked type of genes it is difficult for the plant and animal breeders to get some different kinds of variations in the uh, in their offsprings or in the animals and their <coughs> offsprings or plants and their offsprings right second significance is that linked uh, linkage reduces the chance of recombination linkage reduces the chance of recombination of genes and thus helps to hold parental characteristics together it thus helps organism to maintain its parental racial and other characters so as the genes are not not uh, so they are not separating and they are uh, inherited in their offsprings so it it rem, uh, it is helpful for the organisms to maintain their parental or the racial characters so as it is parental characters are inherited in their offsprings also this so this could be one of the uh, drawback of the um, Uh, of this linkage and this is positive side of or the advantage of the uh, linkage okay so this is uh, all about the linkage meaning of linkage the types of linkage and its significance 
so thanks for watching if you like this video please share comment and subscribe my channel thanks for watching